Hey everyone, Jason from No Code VA. In this video, we're going to be looking at looping by Zapier. So we'll look at what is looping. Uh, we will look at how you might use that. And we will run through a demonstration of creating the Zap using looping by Zapier. So first of all, what is looping? So looping is a feature by Zapier. It's currently in beta and it's available on paid versions. And what it enables you to do is take a trigger with multiple lines and then create tasks and loop through until all those lines are complete. So one example to think about is a order. So when an order comes through, the order may have multiple items on there and you want the zap to run on each line item. In the example we're going to look at, we're going to do a common, um, a common thing where if you create a project, you usually want to create some project tasks and a lot of the time those tasks will be the same every project so you may have five or six tasks that every time you create a project you create these tasks that need carrying out so we're going to look at how you can do that so this will make more sense once we jump in there so let's do that now okay so let's have a look at the setup so we have an Airtable database in here and we have two tables we have projects and we have tasks and in the projects we're just going to have the project name some notes about the project the status of the project and the project type and then in the tasks we're just going to have the task name and the tasks are going to link to a particular project okay so what we also have is different project types so we have project type A and project type B because you may have different tasks depending on what the project is so what we're going to do when this is entered and we change the status to live we want Zapier to go away to this spreadsheet here and in the spreadsheet we just have a list of tasks and we have a list of project types so if the project is type A we want Zapier to come in here find all the A's and create them so loop through and create as many tasks as there are with project type A okay so and then they will end up in here and they'll end up linked to the project okay so that's the setup so let's jump in and look at Zapier now Okay, so we're in Zapier and we've given it a name and we've created the trigger. So the trigger is basically um, when a record in Airtable, so in this database, in the projects, goes live into the live view. So if we go back here, we can see we have a live view and this is just filtering where the status is live. So whenever we change this to live, it's going to fall into this view and it's going to trigger the Zap. Okay, so let's make this live now. So this is live, and if we go over to here, we will see we have project one, and it's live, and it's project type A. So let's go in here and just load this. So we're just gonna go away and grab that record so we can work with it. So we have found a record that's triggered the zap. So the next thing we want to do is then find all the tasks that relate to project A in here. So remember, we're gonna come in here and find anything related to project A. So let's go for Google Sheets and we're going to choose in here the, the type, the event type is going to be find multiple rows with line support. So we're just going to continue and we're just going to choose the drive here. Uh, we're going to choose the spreadsheet. So we're just going to tell Zapier where that spreadsheet is. So we found it here. The worksheet, there's only one. And then the lookup column. So what column do we want to look up? Well, we want to look up the project type because we're going to find all the project types. And the lookup value, well, we know it's going to be A in this case, but it might change. So we're just going to tell it to use the project type that it found in the record above. Okay. So we can ignore the rest and we can continue and we can then just test this and then we can see it's bringing back one two three four rows of information which is correct so we've got four rows of information in there okay so that's all good so what we want to do now is to create a record for each row in Airtable now we could just create a row one by one but we don't know how many there's going to be. It may be that at a later date we create some more tasks in here. So we can't specify it, we just want it to run through them all. And what we can do, we can do 
we can use the looping by Zapier at this point. So we'll just click looping by Zapier and the event is going to be to create a loop from line items. We're going to continue now and then the values we want to look up are the task. So we're just going to say the task is and we're just going to pick the value from here. So this is the task name. So column A. So we're looking at column A. If you didn't use the loop in, what Zapier would do, column A it would pull back all of them. So it would create one record with all of the tasks in one line. This is what we don't want, so this is what Lupin's going to help us with. So we just tell it column A is what we want and that's all the information we need from there. So if there were other fields in there we would map them as well. So that's all we need. Trim white space is true, just going to get rid of any blank values around that. And then we want to iterate uh, the count, so we just want to go through every one, so one at a time. And also we can change the maximum loop of iterations here. This is just to save, sometimes you can get in a loop where it will just keep looping round and you make a mistake and all of a sudden you've lost you know, a thousand, a thousand um, tasks uh, because something went wrong. So just to save that from happening, uh, we can limit it. So we're going to limit it to 10 in this case. Uh, we're going to continue. So if we just test that now, what we'll do again, it's going to come back and give us these records separately and we can close that. So now inside the loop here, we can start creating the tasks that need to happen for each line. So this is the trigger. It's going to go away and find how many records there are in that sheet. And then for every record, is going to do whatever we specify in here. So we're back to the normal setup here, but we're inside the loop. So we're just going to choose Airtable again because we want to create a record this time. So again, the base is going to be the same. So it's the Zapier a looping test in this case. And it's going to be uh, here. We're going to create tasks. And then we're going to have the name. So the name of the task we're going to choose from our loop here so we're just going to say the name of the task is this so we're just going to pick the first one because remember it's just going to go through and do them all one by one the status we want to be to do we're going to fix that in there so if we look at the um, options in our tasks here we have a, um, a hidden status field here let's just show that so our status can be any one of these so because we're creating them from scratch, the status will be to do. And then the project it's going to link to is going to be the project it found in the first step. So the project creation. So we're going to continue here. And we're going to test. So what that should do is just create one record. And if we go in here, we delete this blank one. We can see that it created one record to do and it's linked to project one. And so we're going to delete that because we want to change this. Okay, so that's the that's the zap done. We could if we want add more things to do, more tasks, and every ta every task is going to be carried out for every line. But this is good enough for what we need now. So let's just turn this lap on. And close that. And now let's just go into here and let's create a new project. So we're going to create one called my project two. And it's going to be, let's choose project A again. And now let's make this live. And then we should see the tasks four tasks created in here, into here. So to save time, we're just gonna run this manually now. So I'm just gonna click on here. I'm gonna choose run. And if we fly over to here, we should see the tasks being created one by one in here. So there we go, one, two, three, four. So it's created four tasks based on project A. So we can see email client, set up, evaluate and create report. And if we go to the project, we can see that it's linked 
to that project there okay so now let's just do another one called my project free and this time we're going to choose uh, this is going to be a project B type this time and again we're going to make this live and uh, if we fly over to here what we should see if we run the zap again um, this one here we'll fly over there we should now see four tasks being created and these are tasks B so the different con contact supplier get stock levels place an order arrange delivery so this is project B it's created for us and uh, if we look at here group by project we can see it a little bit better and so it's done exactly what we wanted now the beauty of this is that if we now add a, another um, let's have uh, confirm confirm delivery so we've added another task on here now that we want to be for, for type B's so now let's just create another project and this is called uh, my project four. It's going to be B again, and we're going to make it live. We're just going to manually run this again to speed things up. And what we should see in tasks is an extra one be created. So project four has now got confirmed delivery in here. So. As we add tasks into our task template here, then when the project's created, it's going to loop through and create as many tasks as we specified in there. And if we go back to here, project four, we can see them in here as well. Okay, so that's how it works. Uh, it's very useful. So again, think of it for you know orders and line types and things like that. In this instance, it's very useful for creating project tasks. Um, it's in beta still, so um, there may be some little bugs and things, but it's been in for a while, so hopefully things are okay. Um, but yeah, check it out, and if you have any questions, let me know. And thanks as always for listening.